All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we will start the video inside the car because it's super raining outside and that doesn't stop me to make this test drive with a new BMW X1 2022 or 2023 actually. It's an amazing car. I already make a separate video, full review, interior, exterior, technical data, material quality if you want to see how much space you have in the trunk if you want to see the multimedia the new multimedia system and the new cockpit check out that video guys there is more details to see in the video about this new bmw x1 also the car come with 20 inch rims they look just incredible on the car this is the maximum that you can get from bmw in terms of rims size now this is the key we have also a new key a very light key it's quite big but it's really interesting we have these uh, colors from m we have the lock button here in the middle unlock on the side and you can unlock or uh, open also the trunk automatically it has a button here it's very nice it's very light and also it's new it looks really great here we have a lot of storage space under the armrest i like that some usb-c aluminum pedals beautiful beautiful pedals also in the middle we have a center armrest very good in leather and we have shift by wire transmission so from here you can change the gear position i should say reverse or drive or sport mode electronic handbrake auto hold great job bmw this time no stick no manual handbrake everything it's clean and nice and i like this insole here also start engine button it's here let me start the engine press the brake press the start engine button and right now the engine it's on it comes with a diesel engine two liter diesel engine this is the xdrive 23d uh, it comes also with a seven speed automatic transmission steptronic incredible you will see as we go forward of course the other eight speed from bmw it's much better but the seven one it's also really good and you will see as we go it comes also with a head-up display i don't know if you can see it it's lovely it's directly there on the windscreen one of the best head-up display you find on bmw cars that's for sure great visibility around the windows big windows big mirrors great visibility outside we have a really big windshield here and i explained that in the full review video why is that good also great visibility in the mirror because we have a big window in the back there so around the car great visibility perfect perfect comfort on those vernasca leather seats those are special m seats in the package in the review video i explained but they are really good and also very comfortable perfect position here to reach out every button also the vents we have two physical button for the uh, climatic system you press this and it will defrost the windshield immediately and i noticed i tested today because it's raining it's kind of foggy uh, i test it and i noticed that it's work really really good then we have some volume knob and also different driving modes from here from my modes you have like four driving modes you have the personal mode that it's active right now balance settings and personal ambience then you go here you have the sport mode where it gives you the best driver pressure the settings and then you have the efficient mode where it gives you the best economy and then you have a new mode like x Impressive mode it's really interesting we will try all these different driving mode and we will see how it's in the end also the great part is with the new cockpit that it's you can customize it in so many ways and it's really good one and i explained that also in the other video so if you want to see it check out the review it's totally deserved guys in combination with this video you have to see it now let's drive it uh, what i notice is that it's very silent inside the cabin and also with this diesel engine is just fabulous i tell you it's really really good because it doesn't feel so many vibration inside and also not so much noise it comes also with a beautiful ambient light but let's drive the car guys also by the way before we drive the car come with 360 degrees cameras for the first time bmw x1 have this panoramic 3d view beautiful so this is just incredible and also the car exterior look in a big way guys if you didn't see it check out the review there i show you also the exterior of the car it's fabulous the car it's 
beautiful now let's drive going in reverse you just press the brake and push it forward and you will see you will go in reverse and you can see also those active lines when you're going in reverse very good resolution uh, quality on those cameras they are really good we have sensors for uh, six sensors in the front six on the rear going in drive just down like this it's super easy to go in drive and in reverse with this car uh, actually we can go out here very easy you can go out in wherever uh, bumps you find on the road because uh, the ground clearance it's pretty high 210 horsepower 400 Newton meters is the power of this x1 uh, x drive 23 D and 0 0.27 the drag coefficiency turning radius 11.4 meters we can test it here it's a big car actually this new bmw x1 it's bigger than the previous version and it's quite close to x3 steering wheel and echo mode is not that assisted but surprisingly for a bmw it's pretty light and pretty assisted i didn't expect that uh, but it still holds a little bit of sporty driving feeling i love this steering wheel m steering wheel uh, it's special it's it's really different and also it has the same fat grip that bmw uses with head-up display lovely visibility on the head-up display as well also the car come with all this technology from bmw we will test it and i will show you lane assist the new autopilot uh, new radar new sensors it's much better than the previous versions so no no nothing to say in terms of autopilot and we can test it right now actually you can press set here and go forward let me show you so actually so just like that and right now you can see a steering wheel on the screen I don't know if you can see it and you can also set the the speed there for example 50 six and right now the car it's holding between the lanes and i noticed that it's doing a wonderful job guys even though it's quite rainy outside and uh the car come with cameras up here with the radars around the car so it can see the lanes it can see the road pretty pretty well right now you can see it's it says put your hand on the steering wheel yeah here it's a little bit complicated this curve it's quite hard for most of the cars also it gives you a nice feedback vibration in the steering wheel it's vibrate like you're playing on the playstation or a computer on a joystick and it, it gives you nice nice feedback safety features a lot of safety features also the car can accelerate can brake uh, depend what the car in front will do right now it's braking for me because you know it comes a roundabout so it's really smart system uh, probably I will get with the car on the highway to to show you uh, how those system work but in the roundabouts is doing just fine you can turn it very easily here what I notice is that I have a very nice tall driving position also it comes with electric adjustable seats you can adjust it in every position you want very simple we can set it again I have to just press it here one time set and then it's go uh, so we can set the speed here and the car will hold between the lanes quite simple just like that let's look at this and it holds the speed between the car in front and my car look at this it stays perfectly between the lanes I test this uh, new BMW autopilot on the highway and I noticed that uh, it's imp they improve a lot it's also warn you to put your hand on the steering they, they improve a lot this autopilot it stays between the lanes just perfectly I tested before I don't remember on what car but also it was something new it was really good I was like wow I was really impressed look at this it's working quite quite fine it's also always warn you to hold your hand on the steering wheel this is for the safety I totally recommend you uh, to hold the hand on the steering wheel but to point out keep in mind that the autopilot it's improved it comes with new sensors new cameras and it's much better also the driving feeling uh, it's great it feels like you're driving a bigger car than the previous x1 and it feels like the sound insulation 
and the comfort inside the cabin it's much better the visibility uh, in this cockpit it's also much better and nicer everything here even the stalk feel good quality the steering wheel the stalk everything feel quite nice to be honest and by the way the transmission I didn't even feel it until now it's so smooth and silent and it's doing a great job as expected the suspension very good we have McPherson independent suspension on the front with stabilizer and multi-link independent on the rear great suspensions the head-up display it's it's lovely it's positioned it perfectly right there on the on the windshield yeah it's it's the same that BMW feeling great feeling when you sit on those seats um, let's let's change the driving mode let's go in sport mode guys sport mode the car should be much more responsive when you press the acceleration and I immediately feel that the engine stay on the higher RPM Ooh. Ooh. it's quite responsive my god this this driving driving a BMW it's such a unique feeling I can explain you you have to actually try to see it you can see that the, the engine is stay at higher rpm in sport mode and it gives you immediately immediately acceleration when you press the the, the pedal even even when you go uphill now you feel like the car will push you back on the seat the steering it's a little bit stiffer in sport mode that's for sure uh, but not that stiff as I was expected so it still keep that comfort what I like and I feel here it's that the handlings are quite good I feel like the car is sticking good to the road maybe probably we have 20 inch rims as well but wow surprisingly with those 20 inch rims the car is doing great over the bumps so I didn't expect that Wow lovely lovely acceleration and in the curves it stay great I, I immediately feel that because I drive so many cars I immediately feel when the car stays good on the road or not it's, it's just it's doing super super good I tell you it's really really good now I want to change this new mode this expressive mode expressive mode let's see how it's to drive in expressive mode uh, but lovely I mean it's lo it's like you're driving an BMW x5 x6 only that it's smaller and more light I feel like the car is more lighter and easy to control and this is a good thing for me this is the perfect size car I mean definitely when I will buy next car I will get if I will buy from BMW a car totally will be this new uh, x1 I like it I wait for such a long time to see this car I really I'm really excited to drive the electric version because I'm I'm an electric fan but this one it's it's super good I like the size I like that it's light it feels light it feels easy to drive lovely lovely control yeah it guys you know probably driving a BMW it's a special give you that special feeling like you're driving a special car and it's different it's unique you know they put that signature inside the engine inside the transmission inside the seats inside the car everywhere it's it's that BMW great feeling ah, the brakes are great by the way ventilated brake this in the front on the rear super nice car auto hold functions everything work as it should work I don't know this 
this mode it's like a normal mode it's nothing special here if I go to personal mode activate it personal mode ooh the steering it's lighter now it's super assisted right now in this moment I can feel that wow wow personal mode it's like comfort mode I guess or maybe you can personalize it and customize it there if I'm not wrong anyway we have 8.4 liter consumption until now and my favorite mode I guess is the efficient mode because here we can get the best Even those stalks, they feel such a good quality when you touch it. The steering wheel, it's awesome, it's fat, it's soft and nice. The M and also even this design here is different. We have a hole here. It's a nice different design. It looks so raw and... I don't know if you can hear the transmission, but it's, it's changing the gear just perfectly on efficient mode. A little bit earlier, so... don't even feel it it's just whew, smooth when the car changed those gears lovely car also you can see the ambient light inside here in the nighttime oh boy so nice ambient light also here also in the front looks awesome Big windshield, such a good visibility. But the way it stays on the road is it's so unique. Also, I can receive some feedbacks in the steering wheel when I go close to the lanes. Again, if you set up here, for example, the, the cruise control, the car will, will stay between the lanes actually set it up if it sees the lanes will stay between the lanes lower the speed and right now it's holding between the lanes I don't even need to help it out but for safety I will be here but anyway 7.7 .7 liter consumption until now not bad but it's for a new car it's not bad and the way I drive but I think you can get even better consumptions. You should get even better consumptions. You can see the Tesla Model I. I'm a little bit higher than it is. Good visibility, very good suspensions, and also stability. It's great. In the same time, they kind of set up the suspension perfectly, guys. And on this model, I have the M package. That means 15 millimeter the suspension are lower than the normal version so on the normal version the suspension should be even better over the bumps and also with uh, smaller rims you should have even a better comfort and I'm I'm surprisingly it, it's it's pleasant to feel this car over the bumps it's, it's just perfect setup you still they still keep that sporty feeling but in the same time they give you some comfort and pff, I like it this is all I need from a car it's, it's doing just lovely if you want to park the car you can park it very easy because it comes with 360 degrees camera just press the brake on reverse and you can see those active lines there in the back it's just put it so so easy and then all you have to do is just press the brake activate the handbrake and then it's going in park so simple so easy lovely car man i like it i was expect that from bmw to be honest to be that good it's it's really really good 
great job what can i say really really great job <laughs> the consumption was around 7.6 liters so pretty good consumption great 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 car so bmw again deliver a product that have such a good quality my only downside is the price it's the price of this bmw x1 it's around 72,000 but it's full option I mean on this car that I have with me here it's full option glass roof you have everything 360 degrees camera you have this M's package you have the comfort you have the display you have the autopilot you have everything the steering wheel if you want to see more details I have a separate video the full review video check it out there I explain you everything but the starting price is around $57,000 should be okay for for what this car offer it's, it's pretty good price 57,000 and the fact that BMW bring a lot of uh, quality inside the car I don't know if they can make the car even cheaper or more affordable because the car come with this new multimedia system new cockpit new technology they put a lot of money in hardware and stuff like that and I think that's why the price it's even higher because they step up the game all the time and the car it's really so everything about the car it's great I don't know if I need something to tell you guys <laughs> lovely car anyway if you want to see the full review I have a separate video check it out uh, also guys if you have question ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Auto Care in Itigen in Bern close to Bern I will leave the link in the description uh, you have there all the information so you can contact them you can come and see the cars you can test drive the cars you can buy it if you want so the link will be in the description other than that my rating for this bmw x1 2022 or 23 uh, from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 because the price if the price was cheaper the rating will be 9.9 .9. but yeah i have to take the price into consideration other than that lovely car lovely seats perfect combination between sporty and comfort and it's beautiful outside anyway that was the video thank you for watching don't forget to like share subscribe check out the other videos stay safe and see you next time in the next one bye guys